Hello Wolfpack, we're here on Luna USD on the daily chart and we've also got the Bitcoin chart uh, ready to go. I just want to do a quick update on Luna. Uh, we've spoken about Luna a lot in our Telegram group, uh, which is free. Go ahead and join in the link below. Um, Luna is a coin that has looked decent throughout the entire drop in Bitcoin. Um, it did not see necessarily to the same extent um, it's sure a sharp drop down, but most coins did something like this after a drop down. They kind of went straight down in descending uh, formation. Luna did that for the first little while. As you can see here, we had a bit of a descending channel going on. Um, but it broke out and kind of made some moves to the upside prematurely uh, that we didn't see on Bitcoin or many other altcoins. Uh, so we saw one step here, a correction, then a step up. That's just a classic uh, impulse wave. Um, and it's currently still going on. Um, as you can see here, let me just extend this a little bit. We bought Luna down in the range here at about $5.30 to $3.66. So we're up quite significantly on Luna. Um, we're up at least a 2x if you're part of the Telegram group. Um, so it's a pretty good buy for us. And we've just broken out of the major resistance area uh, yesterday. So that's also something we labeled as buy the breakout. Uh, because from this point, we're looking to, you know, surpass higher resistance zones such as the $2, uh, the $12.27 resistance and the $18 resistance. And then obviously the all-time high, it's $23. Um, the reason why Luna looks so good to us is because we had this nice curved bottom. And basically what this means is that uh, the momentum in Luna is finding a stable, a solid stable ground between the bulls and the bears. And since that stable ground has been found, which was found around here on this last little drop, um, the bulls could take action um, as the bears gave up on it dropping lower. And basically, it just forms this nice little circular kind of cup formation. Um, what we could be seeing here on Luna, obviously, we can't expect it to go straight up. Uh, what we could be seeing is, you know, a quite, quite a classic cup and handle formation where at some point we'll see something like this, a little dip down possibly to the bottom of this now support area and then a continuation upwards. But I'm definitely expecting Luna to reach all-time highs within the next month or two. Um, you know, obviously that depends on the state of BTC, uh, but it's looking very good. Um, and, you know, we've just seen that bullish MACD cross here as well, just, a, just about a week ago. Um, which, you know, has put some extra momentum through. We can see that currently we're testing the top of the bull market support band. Um, breaking out of that bull market support band and closing a daily candle above it will certainly lead to higher um, prices. Um, but it could be a zone for rejection. In fact, we could be seeing this cup and handle uh, formation play out right here as it bounces between the bull market support band. If I just draw that out, as you can see, uh, that could be a possibility, um, but I'm not going to bet on it. Um, so we're looking okay. We've also just kind of, you know, if we can close above the current prices right now, we'll break out of the Ikimoku resistance as well. Um, but let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart. Uh, we can see on the Bitcoin chart, you know, basically it's very similar to what's actually been happening on the USD chart. But something I just want to note real quick on the Bitcoin chart is that at around probably, you know, 60 on the RSI, uh, we can notice that every single time we've seen a pump back here, We've seen a rejection from the 60 on the RSI point, um, minus these two pumps over here, uh, in which we saw higher. But the, this is a pretty solid RSI resistance we're seeing uh, just when it breaks into the overvalued range. Um, we've seen five rejections from the RSI at that point and then drops down as a result. Um, so it's very interesting, something to keep note of. It does signify that we will be dropping now. Um, which would make sense with the bull market support band. So actually, I would be saying that the most likely scenario here is that we do this cup and handle formation right now in accordance with the bull market support band. Um, and that would also kind of line up with this RSI resistance as well on the Bitcoin chart. Um, so that's what I'm looking at for Luna. I'm looking at all-time highs for the next couple of months, if especially if BTC performs. Um, but short term, we could be in for a bit of a cup and handle correction here. It won't really affect the price, um, you know, outside of a few weeks, in my opinion. But we're looking good. Um, and it's definitely one of the coins that's held up a lot better than, you know, a lot of altcoins in the short term drop slash bear market we saw. Um, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for more and we'll catch you in the next one.